Testing one, two, testing one, two. I go by the name of Quest Legends. I'm CEO of the Sloan's Project, NFL KENT. This topic of discussion today is Donald Trump a uh, ban on transgender people um, joining the military. Donald Trump wants to put a ban on transgender people joining the U.S. military. Now, according to my research, between 2,200 and 11,000 transgender people are already in the U.S. military. And from what I was reading and looking at online, the reason why um, Trump wants to do this, to put a ban on transgender joining the U.S. military, is because he's worried about um, costs um, like for uh, hormones and, you know, um, you, you know, any type of uh, medical medical costs uh, a transgender individual would need. You know, to continue their lifestyle, uh, certain treatments, you know, things like that that they use. Um, he's worried about the cost of that if a lot of transgender um, individuals join the U.S. military, you know, rather than just, you know, you're male, you're female. You want to join the U.S. military? Cool. Go ahead. He wants he wants to, to keep everything. He wants to make sure. That they're not doing, they're not, he wants to make sure that they're not overspending. Especially on, on medical treatments and things like that uh, for transgenders. But you know what? Donald Trump, he sounds like a hypocrite here because, you know, during his campaign, he was claiming to be an ally of the LGBT community. So, and he was saying that Hillary is he was painting Hillary to be the bad guy of the LGBT community or the bad woman. So for him to just come out and say he wants to put a ban on them joining the U.S. military is just like a stab in the back. You understand? This is what it sounds like. He's just coming out saying he don't want them to join the military. You know, it's, and, you know, after claiming an ally, it's just like, you, you know, betraying somebody. You know, so that's what it sounds like. So he's looking crazy and, you know, he's being criticized for this by a lot of people, by a lot of important people. And it just don't look right. Because of the way he campaigned. Now, if he had said that he, you know, if he had a, a, a distance himself from the LGBT community, cool. But he wanted to do that so that he could get their vote. You understand? So this is what's going on. Um, the LGBT community is, you know, you know, they're going to fight to to um, they're going to fight not to let this pass. Um, you got some other important people um, in the White House. Um, you know, you got your Congress and, you know, other other, you know, avenues like that in the White House. You know, they got to come together and agree on a lot of these um these laws and things like that, especially new laws. And, you know, the president, um, he has the power uh, to veto laws as well. And, you know, he he has the power, you know, to say certain things and, and to put certain things into play. Especially when he got the Congress and other branches of the White House backing him up. But this time, I don't think that these guys are going to back him up fully. Some people will, some people won't, according to my research. You know, this is the Slums Project. I don't just cover um, hip hop and this and that and battle rap. I cover everything and I speak about everything. I speak about things that's going on that's going to affect you. And if you go about it the right way, it could possibly help you. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this topic. Do y'all think um, transgenders that's already in the military should stay there? Keep doing what they're doing. And do you also think that the ones that's trying to enlist should be enlisted 
and basically not discriminated against. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I cover real news. I cover things that's happening every day. I talk about everything. This is Quest Legends from the Slums Project. Subscribe.